Hello, hello, and welcome to Tube Talk with D, guys. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and just thank you for joining me today. So, uh, a couple of things today. Um, I want to talk about the Shaquella Robinson um, incident, the young lady who went to Mexico with her friends, a few of her friends, and it was one of the guy's birthdays. And... Um, unfortunately she did not make it back home uh she was actually murdered killed in mexico by her so-called friends um this case just gets you know it changes by the day stories change by the day uh, i feel really really my condolences for her family um for her uh prayers go out to her and her family um, but this incident happened right before Halloween. I want to say the October the 28th. Uh, you know, they leave, they go to Cabo, Mexico. And if you know anything about Mexico, I've been to Mexico before. Me, my kids, my family, we've been there before. And it's a long way from home. It's a long way from the United States. And Mexico does not operate the way that the United States operates in case of an emergency. It takes a lot for the... Uh, Mexico government to um, classify something as foul play, you know, especially if they didn't have a hand in it. Mexico, the Mexican government is so corrupt. Uh, that's why you have so many uh, immigrants trying to come from Mexico to over here to the United States. Uh, but anyway, on October the 28th is when, um, you know, they supposedly allegedly went to Mexico uh, the next day, not even 24 hours later she was never heard from again video is circulating around the fact that um there was a fight there was definitely a fight but it wasn't just a random fight it wasn't like they were out um touring mexico or anything like that she was beat by her own friends by a circle of friends whom she trusted um and it's just so sad that that happened to her in in a vulnerable state um, you know, she has no clothes on. She wasn't even trying to fight back, which leads me to believe when she was slung to the floor, that is probably when she got the spinal injury or the, or the neck injury. Because in the autopsy, you know, as her mother stated, she had a broken neck, she had a cracked spinal, uh, and that resulted in her demise. So at that point in time, you can see in the video where she just cannot... It's nothing else, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing she can do. She can't even defend herself. And um, allegedly, the person that she was fighting was not a woman. It it was uh, actually a guy that she was fighting, you know, a transgender or some type of trans person. And uh, it, it was just so sad. The person holding the, the camera, the phone, is telling her, you can't even fight. You know, it was just messy. You know, and you never know how much hate a person has for you that calls themselves your friend until you're put in a situation like that. I mean, who else would she have called? She's with people that she thinks is going to help her and not harm her. Um, and just to lose your life like that so far away from home, I could, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine how her family feels. I can't imagine the fear that she felt. Uh, you know, you have a couple of friends who were there that are coming out and they are speaking to only clear their name. Um, so this is just, it, it, it's a shocking story. It's a shocking story. And, um, you know, they said it took two weeks to get her body back home and six thousand dollars six thousand dollars to get her body back to her family to her home um where they were from and it, it's just so it makes me so angry and so upset and so sad uh that this would even happen to this beautiful young lady uh i hope that her family really gets justice she did not deserve that uh, we can't say what we would have done, what we could have done, what we should have done. Uh, you you don't know when you are in a situation where you are trusting someone who is supposed to be your friend and have your back and, and not cause you any hurt, harm, or danger. It's really sad and unfortunate. Uh, on another note, justice for her, though. Justice for her. I hope all parties involved are um, prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. 
Um, in other news, Mr. Latruth came out this morning, he had a message for you guys on live. Uh, at this point, he's just being a drama queen. You know, he's just being a drama queen. We understand that you guys are not together. Why are you still referring to this lady as your wife and telling us, you know, I own the name and as, as long as she's using it, it's still going to be my name. No, that lady has copyrights to Miss Latruth. You want, and then you state on live that she still wants you. Why are you even putting that out there, Mr. Latruth? Why would you even put anything about anybody wanting you? Like, uh, I asked you earlier, do you think you could find anybody better than Brianna? You didn't call this lady your sugar mama. You have said that she did give you money, $7,000. She did that out of the goodness of her heart because you guys had just bought a home together. She compensated you for moving out. That was her part uh, to compensate you to move out and get out of a contract that she didn't want to be in. She, so she didn't just up and give you $7,000. Um, why would you even accept it if you have so much money? Uh <sighs> But anywho, honey, because I'm not going to say it wouldn't be me, it couldn't be me, or none of this, but that lady is um, not leading us to believe that you all are still together. She's not still calling you her husband the way you are still calling her your wife. I think you have a little bit of delusionalness going on with you. Um, <laughs> you you seem a little bit uh, unstable, and I think your your mental health is 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 a little bit at question. It's questionable at this at this moment. Just my thoughts. Just my thoughts. You know, um, the truth, you are really doing the most right about now. Uh, you, you are seeking and begging for attention. This lady has moved on with her life. Okay. Uh, things are still up in the air between you two, but I hope you guys get it together. I really hope you guys get it together. Uh, but I just wanted to come in here and say this little part to you guys and, and um, kind of bring you guys up to date what was going on. I will be back later with another topic, another live, another video. So you guys make sure you stay tuned. Go check out my last video of La Truth this morning to keep you guys updated. And as always, hit the subscribe button. And thank you for joining Tube Talk with D.